The flip side with Jay and Noel. That's all right. I think what's what's more interesting about that, I think it's the you're talking about the Al Jazeera news report that I shared with you, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the the real highlight of the story is not really the traffic, not Coldplay mentioning the traffic and the Philippines winning number one traffic, mm. most traffic in the city. I think the the highlight of that story was that the president yeah, wanted to visit went to the concert on a helicopter and now he's yeah. also getting flack for riding a helicopter to and not bracing the traffic like everybody else it's like <laughs> what's your what's your take on that okay there's there's two sides of it i mean one the regular person that i am thinking you yeah, must be nice you know but two what? i mean <laughs> you're attending a concert granted it's going to require a lot of security preparation and whatnot which they should have done ahead of time you know they should have prepared it prepared a different route opened up some lanes specifically for that that's more understandable i'm okay with that Mm. Mm. but to last minute or not last minute i don't want i don't know when they were planned it but to just all of a sudden spend national resources just like that because that can't be cheap okay Mm. that can't be cheap and then take a helicopter Mm. all the way to the concert which actually was what 30 kilometers away doesn't your president take the helicopter to watch a concert yeah no i don't think i've ever actually heard of a president to take a helicopter to the concert Mm. now i know for a fact that they've actually done public not public transportation but they have the whole public barricade and whatnot for the president to attend like concerts i know the uh, obama's the president obama did that Mm. you know and it's 30 kilometer from malacanang to philippine arena Mm. 30 kilometers, which is about 15 miles. Mm-hmm. Um, probably would have taken three, four hours, if not long, <laughs> to get there. But I think with proper preparation, mm. they could have prepared it in advance to make the routes easier for that particular convoy. So you don't think, or are you in agreement? Do you think that he could have, should have ridden a helicopter? Was it right for him to do so or not? Okay. Here's the cap the the here's my cross stake on this one. Okay. Look at look at the uh, W I O N. They're yeah. calling it a joy ride. <laughs> <laughs> See, that might be if, if these guys really know the experience of traffic in the Philippines, it might be a different story. Okay. Would have been would it be cheaper? for the president of the philippines to transport by convoy from malacanang to um philippine arena mm. and the the cost that it would take the, the effect that it would take creating a specific route opening up street li- uh, streets uh, and whatnot for this particular convoy would it be cheaper to do that in the philippines or just him hop in the helicopter Mm-mm. you know what i mean i don't know because I, I'm assuming that for based on the structure uh, of or of the traffic structure in the Philippines, it's not going to be easy to just open up a lane for them to travel into. It's a security risk. That's what his security convoy is probably saying. Sir, no, sir, that's exactly what they said. Mag helicopter na lang tayo, sir. Baka. It is a security risk, but it's a risk that, you know, it does make an effect. I mean, that's part of the job. Mm-mm. You know? If if the presidents if the presidents yeah. of the United States are able to take their convoys from uh, uh, some places here, I'm not saying that they've never taken the helicopter from the White House to a, an event because I know they've done that in multiple occasions. Mm. Um, but for the most part, even watching football games, they take their their convoy. As far as I know. Most of the time, they'd take yeah. the convoy, meaning they'd be traveling on land and not be using the helicopter. Correct. It can't be cheap flying those things. Oh, I man. can't even imagine. Based, based on our last, you know, Ryan, Ryan Agoncillo comments, I don't want to comment on this one. I plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get bashed again for right. commenting on this. 
but I, yeah, it, I mean that's the thing, but, though. I mean, how? But, that's what I wanted to bring up. Actually, you, you you imagine? Can you see exactly what I mean about how we get so affected by these things? Right, right. That's that's my point. It's like we could be talking about something else, like I don't know the weather and how cold it has been lately, which is weird. We're but it can't always be like that, though. It can't always be like that. This conversation in regards to what the president's move was in regard to taking the helicopter for the concert. It yeah. should be public discussion. You know, yeah. was it right? Can that can that money be used for for something better? I don't know. But again, see, that's the thing. Though, like I said earlier, I, I keep going back to this: the amount it, and the cost that it would take to open up roads and create a a route mm. from where the president is to the venue. Mm-hmm. Is it going to be cheaper versus taking the helicopter? You know what I mean. It's like that. Because maybe you, just, maybe you just thought about going like last minute. Uy, may concert palang cold playing ayon. Tara. That could be it, but we don't know that. You know, I'm, again, I'm watching my comment in regards to that because we don't know really, right? You know, by your suggestion about coming up with a presidential route so that the president the president is safe, right? You should come move move back here and work for the president. Come on. <laughs> I'd, that's hard though because it, it it is is it is a security risk but what i'm saying is it's an option i know for a fact here in the states in the us they don't just travel their convoys without doing proper research you know they, they have just people go to a concert correct. last minute and decide to take a helicopter right? they literally plan different routes plan a b c d routes and then they will pick randomly each one based on how they feel or whatever so because it can't be just one the, route if we worked for the president you would have thought about say let's let's plan the route so that you know we don't get in trouble and then i would have said sir let's not take the helicopter <laughs> exactly but again if i was in that particular position or situation in the philippines for example I am going to bring up those t- those questions, meaning is it cheaper for us to generate three or four different routes? Mm. Because you can't just generate one and take that one for the, you know what I mean? Um, and what are the people going to say if we take the helicopter? What's that going to look like? Exactly. Is it cheaper to create it by land or by then, you know? Maybe it was cheaper to take it by, uh, by air this time around. Yeah. Who's to say, right? Uh, so now that's the point of view that people need to look at. But that's the thing, though. We, sad to say, most people don't, as these news actually shows. Yes. Oh, okay. These newscasters. Oh, taking for a jo- take the Filipino president taking the helicopter for a joyride. Come on. Maybe in that country it is cheaper to take it by land. Who's to say? Right. I don't know their budget. I don't know what it's going to cost to create two, three, four different routes, possible routes, um, mm-hmm. uh, to the Philippines. I don't know. And then maybe have the helicopter. Okay, now we're feeling the working for the president as as security for the president. He could be having a helicopter on standby just in case that route doesn't work. Exactly. That could have been done as well. You know, who's to say? I don't know. They should have looked at what the cheaper route, because one way or the other, the president is going to go. The president is going to go. The president is going to go. It should be accounted for in the budget. So cool though, the pre- president stuck in traffic, like in the middle of EDSA. Helicopter lands, picks up the president, and then let's roll. Goes to the concert. <laughs> <laughs> let's roll. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. I mean, that's why I think they're gonna create multiple routes because they can't. You know, you never know what's gonna happen. You know, mm-hmm. they're not gonna let it get to that point where the president's gonna get stuck in a specific route, obviously, because that's dangerous, right? Yeah. If I was whoever decided for him to do that, I hope took the proper measures and de- and uh, decision makings to make and end up making that decision. You know. Now, yeah, I know we're running out of time, but I want to get into this as well. Yeah, what the, you got? And this is this is in relation to all everything that we talked about in the Philippines: the traffic, the venue, the president doing, uh, president. Uh, president's team doing what they did in regards to taking the helicopter mm. um so the coldplay concert was held 
in the world's largest indoor arena. I did not know that it's the world's largest indoor arena. It's the Philippine mm. arena. Okay. Mm. Mm. And it's amazing, to be honest with you. It's state of the art, but it's not as state of the art, but still it's amazing. It's it's it looks cool, it's clean, and uh, I was actually quite impressed by the place looking at the pictures. But mm. I know and I can see where the problem is in regards to the traffic. Everything, something big happens in this place. Just like the Bruno Mars concert where it was traffic of hell. Mm. This is the the layout that I mm. found online of the uh, uh, Philippine arena. Mm. How many entrance and exits exits do you see just by looking right. at this map looks like there's just one that exactly there's just maybe two for what i see Water. is two uh, okay um i'm sorry but don't expect to have no traffic or better traffic organization in, lay, in a layout like this this is horrible what should it look like like a star well, I don't, of, uh, exit. I don't know, but in a venue like this, this big, okay, you can't have two or three only entrance and exits. Mm. It looks here, what? Exit one, exit two, exit three, okay? What are the oh, odds? talking about for the cars, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah for the vehicle. Mm -hmm. But they all lead to probably where? The same location or the same areas? It can't be like that. Mm -mm. Yeah, this is near a freeway too. Oh, that we think no I mean, there's one direction going to Baguio, the other one going to to Manila. I think is what it says. Um, yeah. See, uh, how is this gonna work? How with with the amount of people in the Coldplay concert on the on the nineteenth, where the president went. Besides the president being there, mm -hmm. there was over fifty thousand people that attended the concert. Or forty thousand wow. people still. Nice. I can't imagine public transportation, the gr the the ancas or the or mm -hmm. the uh, Ubers and the private cars and whatnot. Mm -mm. Grabe, yung parking yun. I mean, for this venue, people were actually taking day days off to go to this Just concert to be able to attend the concert. Yeah, right. I've never Biduin been here. Lang. I've seen it though, like across from like yeah, but I, I it's huge. Yeah, I like gone from the freeway. You could see oh, that it's huge. But how far is it from your place? Oh, like it, uh, far, <laughs> uh, fifty kilometers. Oh, okay. fifty kilometers. Yeah, this is like all the, this is all the way past the end of Edsa. I live on the opposite end of Edsa, way past that south. Mm. Mm. So this is somewhere north already. This is like. Around the Balintawak area, I think, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so we passed SM North. Passed so Edsa. I was looking at this picture, and I was like thinking to myself, "How is there going to be no traffic? Where mm -hmm. every every road inside the venue, the parking areas, and whatnot leads to what? Maybe two or three areas. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No matter what, there's going uh, to be insane park, uh, insane traffic. I don't know what the land uh, authority situation is that they have there but you know is it the planning is it the government whose fault is it do they point fingers mm -hmm. you know my 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 little two centavo experience about that was i go to one government agency let's not name it i go to one government agency oh, and then say oh you have to go to this government agency and you go to that government agency and you go to a third government agency no <sighs> you should have gone to the one and two and i'm like I just want to file a report. What do I need to do? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but yeah, uh, you don't really know what you get so tired of the paperwork. You just want to do what you think you need to do as a as a as a concerned citizen, and you don't even know where to. So that's just like government agencies. I don't know how things work with engineering and you know traffic planning and that kind of thing here. But mm -hmm. you know, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure you guys have like big arenas or big venues that also have sort of this kind of problem what do they do about it 
well so that's the thing yeah the, so there's the, the new route there there's always different um there's there's multiple entrance and en- exits that's for sure okay but the traffic is just organized better you know mm-hmm. and then they're very diligent in regards to um giving tickets or or whatnot or towing people oh. that park randomly or just taking u-turns out of nowhere Bro, did you hear about this? Speaking of being diligent, did you hear that after this Coldplay concert, apparently they had like some wristbands that they gave they, that they gave out for the mm. concert, and then you're supposed to return it after. It's like eighty percent of the people I heard, I heard was like didn't return it, didn't return that wristband that's like has like a nice little light on it, and then it glows and I, I see. don't know how that works. So some high tech wristband, and then like as a remembrance, it's like eighty percent people took it. 70 80 percent of the people didn't return it which was like what and I are guess they stupid it. enough to actually expect it to be returned <laughs> so now we're number one again for not returning out of all the i concerts. wouldn't return it um, if, it's, if it's going to be in some kind of remembrance to be honest with you if i'm all hyped, hyped up in the concert i'll probably just walk out with it without even knowing yeah, you'd be too high. You'd be yeah, yeah. You'd be too excited and too happy to have Coldplay and all the stuff that happened. You got the 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 local bands that came up there, Chris talking about you know traffic, and then you they recorded a song together or something like that that they right. did on stage. It was like a lot of good stuff going on on the. And the next thing you know, oh, I gotta return my bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the last thing on your mind. Anything else that you have going on in that? about that Coldplay concert it's, it's now, pretty interesting that you got uh, you dug into it yeah nothing really I mean I didn't I, I wanted to play the song to be honest with you but I didn't want to mess with any kind of copyright issues and right now but the big thing that I took on that in relation to the concert and everything else uh, that we talked about is just the traffic issue and mm-hmm. how the president's uh, team went on t- what I want to know is how they went on to decide to take that route, you know, take the, the chopper. Somebody probably said, eh, you're the president. You could take the chopper. Come on. Probably. Let's go. Yeah. Who's going to care? <laughs> Who you're the president. <laughs> Nobody's allowed to comment on you riding the helicopter all of a sudden, like last minute, 7 Eleven. You want to go to 7 Eleven? Let's go, sir. Let's go. <laughs> I don't think they'd go that bad. But and then Marcos is probably like, "Are you sure? Siguro ba? kita bala sa you." I'm I'm sure there's some kind of team that actually takes care of that for him, though. That maybe makes that decision for that. But who knows, right? I mean, he is the that, president. Have you heard of that phrase before, though? Like, "Wala, wakam problem problema. Sagut kita pare. Sagut kita." No, I've never really. I never. Really. Yeah, and so it's it's another way of saying, "Don't worry, I got your back, bro. I got your back. Don't worry." Okay, let's yeah. Go, let's, let's okay. Go. <laughs> I got your back. I got right, your back. Right. And then now that he's getting, you know, he's getting all the flack for it, like the president, blah blah blah. Is like, he's probably like, eh? "What am I gonna do?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I, it wasn't my suggestion to take that. I wanted to take the motorcycle, but you guys didn't right. want me to. Well, my last my last uh, thought on that is, you know what? Cut him some slack because I'm sure it was his team that made a decision to do it, to take that, not him. That's what yeah, I guess. That's a good point. That's yeah. a good point. It, yeah. it was probably not the president's decision, but it, at the end of the day, you know, it's his name. That's you know, it's it's his ass that's sitting on the helicopter. So exactly. This is the flip side with Jay and Noel.